Listen good now. When you can go so, boom. Go in the description section. Click on any one of the link them for join the group. Or you can go over Instagram to go watch the rest of that video. There. You understand? That is 45 year old Dennis Bart, aka Bully. Yeah, man. Bully, when we come, come talk about yesterday morning, I play a hero. People, don't be like Bully. Don't be like Dennis. Dennis, I try to impress the bartender with a little bread knife. And guess what? The bartender run left him. And I she left to tell the tale because. Then he's dead, dead, dead. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Be grateful for the opportunity, blessing, healing, and progress you have experienced. Be inspired by your growth and your continued focus on what you want to welcome. Be thankful for the transforming mindset that help you to pursue your desired life. As you prepare for more, pray that the path continue to clear, doors swing wide open, and your miracle manifest in abundance. Trust you will thrive. Why go on with people? Open body you know, okay, open body doing you know, alright. This is the day that the Lord has made. Somebody can finish that comment section for me. Yeah, man. I don't need to finish it. I want to done. I want to say amen to. Let me tell you something. I get up and I find myself alive this morning. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, 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 not amongst the dead. Watch your one power. Go on now, people. Make I just the hypocrite them. You understand? Because I was waiting on this day. Me always tell them to say, I see things happen, you know, before it happen, you know. Imagine, where did the police youth? Where is name? I don't remember where name. That's the boy there. We kill little Dali. I wish she didn't name Danali Dadalso. I miss a people. I remember the outrage. Who oh, and only oh, Panice. Nice. I go we wine again. The other little youth now. Where him name? Yeah, that's the same one there. We kill another little Dali. Where she name? Still Kiana. Who oh, and only oh, pa outrage. And guess what? Holy oh, pa people come out, come make one oh, bag of nice. But wait. Man life no matter, you know? Man life don't matter. The woman shot the man in the night and then she take one arm and beat him. Not even one arm. She take two arm and beat him and beat him and beat his skull. And guess what? Nobody will come out come make no nice. I wonder really like to tell me, say. I because the little rain fall and I could come out come protest. Me me watch and see if I go soon today. I'm a tough fact. Me know me not go soon. You understand? Me not go to soon. Only thing, them bugger people I care about a woman and pitney. When man dead, it is okay. I talk it to me, see it, people, you understand? You know, if you agree with me, but you have to listen to me, because you know, see, I show me a talk. But anyway, now, people, watch your one, power, one. And right up a summertime, I go back and start the news, you understand? Because the people, they say, my view, I know the first time my people are fighting about, guess what? We always turn a blind eye to it because the police them normally come in, come intervene, then do this, then do that, and then them gone, them merry way. And him sister come out and I say, yo, a long time the man the one left. But I choose to sit the man decide, say, yo, he might go stay with that. I'm at a fuck area. Too much times, a lot, too much times. We always have the situation where the police them come through and I try to mediate the situation. Um quarreling always go on, arguments always go on. So this is not the first or the second time actually. But as I say, just one of them incidents that were threw off the community and kind of threw off the moral of the thing. They've been having problems for years, years. He humbly you now, he not talk. Yeah, she licked him in the head with the pot a couple of days ago. And then she licked him with one coconut and bust up. She loves lick. She is a very high tempered person. So they were going counseling because they were getting a divorce. And then she fell ill and admitted in the Mandeville Hospital and he took care of her. And he said, yeah, well, I'm not a divorce, you know, because she just wants somebody to take care of her. So he started to take care of her again and everything, I think everything did all right. I shocked him. Just even a few days ago, he said, she said, she's going to kill him, you know. Yeah. In the, in the family group, he takes him and she said, she's going to kill him. What? We don't know. We, that. Know no, we, we nobody really take that seriously. Because of the minute they live, 
I would need her to say things yeah, like that. Yeah, she said every minute. But one thing, anytime she said not like that, him always him tell the family. Tell the family. Oh, tell his family. Yeah, like make she and her mother know. I think he got scared. <coughs> and called me and told me the other day, say. She has not been home for two days and you don't know where she there and you wonder where she up to. In come to my work the other day and we did it and we talk. We talk for a whole long time. And she him tell me about and the killing and him go rent somewhere and me and say no. You know, know if you put the chicken, him always have chicken, he's a very hustling young policeman. Very hustling. So for the people that made out the bag of questions yesterday, see there, when you get to no answer. 25 years and still a constable, the man did not spend time on him hustling. You know what? Watch me come move on with the news. A 19 year old man was shot and injured after he broke into a house in Riddle St. Andrew. The intruder was confronted by the owner of the premises and security guard from King Alarm. It's reported that the man opened gunfire at them and was shot during the crossfire. All of them need to give up about them gun license. Too much man have gone on the know to use it. Head up the St. Andrew North Police Division Superintendent Sharika Service provided an update to our news team on the matter. Uh, well, at this time, we, we don't know much about him except from who he is and where he lives, but we are doing our checks to see if this is his first time or if there has been many before. That is that where that is concerned. The client and mechanic who murdered a supermarket owner in Polis, Manchester last December was yesterday afternoon sentenced to life in prison. I waste, I waste time again, boy, life in prison. I can go to my go around there. Go drink from and enjoy himself. Ajay Fraser, age 22, will serve 15 years before he's considered for parole. Justice Leighton Pusey handed down the sentence after Fraser pled guilty in the Home Circuit Court. Fraser also pled guilty to robbery, aggravation, and wounding with intent and was given 10 years and 12 years respectively. He also pled guilty to three counts of making use of firearm and was sentenced to serve 15 years each. The sentence will run concurrently. Let me tell you something. I waste, I waste time I put them my boy behind bars, you know. Them my boy I forget the same judgment. You understand? Yeah, man, I slap them forget slap with. And for the people them who don't know where they go on, let me tell you now. On December 9, at about 7.30 p.m., Fraser and a group of criminals robbed the supermarket. Yes, paper them robbed Leo. I saw the man name. After taking on the serving sum of money, they shot dead the 39-year-old businessman who was the co-owner of the supermarket. They also fired wildly as they exit the building. And guess what? One customer they get shot to Alfonso, your man. Was Alfonso they get shot and dead, you know. But they never charge him for that. They murdered him. I don't know why they never charge him, but they never charge him. Whole land now, people. I can't believe the people in my Portland really met this a girl gone in a police custody after she killed the woman and her picnic and the other man. You understand? But people must say, my view. I think a twin the girl they have, you know, in her belly, you know. I say, I don't know. I understand. I am not the father. But anyway, here we are going. Here we are going. Detective assigned to the major investigation division has charged a woman for the May 24th double murder. No murder. Them still have something. But I think a double murder still. The fact that she has somebody in her belly. I charge her for that killing there too. Or maybe two. I charge her whatever in her belly too. Of a man and a pregnant woman along Campus Avenue in Portland, Tony, Portland. She is Jody and Jackson, a 28 year old bar operator and a nail technician of Anchovy Land Settlement in the parish. She is charged in relation to the death of 28 year old Shadi Pink of Campbell Avenue and 23 year old Keno James of John Town District, both in the parish. The police report that about 11 p.m., both deceased were among person playing Dominion when Jackson drove a Toyota Fila motor car. Who the hear that and the people them say watching my view. I fear I care, you know. I can tell you who do the shouting to. Her sister man do the shouting. The man them are people that see everything. And really and truly. Make this across his gun behind bars. Ah, so I punish the gun, so I put that. And the man. Anyway, people, I can move on and go to some boy. Let me tell you about bad boy quarry now. A man has been charged with multiple firearm offence after reportedly shot another man while he was at home in Fraser's Content Spanish Town St. Catherine on Sunday, April 9. Charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition and use of an illegal weapon to commit the felon is 30 year old Corey Parchment of Longwood Close in Fraser's Content Spanish Town St. Catherine. Report from Spanish Town Police that about 3 30 pm, a man was at his home when Parchment opened gunfire at him. The man ran, 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 and I to avoid injury. While Parchment escaped in era, Parchment was apprehended during an operation in the parish. He was subsequently charged on Monday, May 29. His court date is being finalized. Now the police are some real baboon, you know. You understand? This boy should get the charge. This boy should get the charge. 
this a boy, I should I get slapped with well. anyway, no people hear this one here. A 16 year old student from a Kingston address has been charged of breaking a last name following an incident on West Street in Kingston between Wednesday, April 5th and Saturday, May 27, 2023. Report from Dead and Town Criminal Investigation Branch that a woman returned to her home on May 27 when she discovered that a lock to her room door had been tampered with and a US 2200 was missing. Coming like she put out the money for she and her. She confronted the student about the money. She reportedly admitted to stealing and spending it. A report was made to the police and the student was apprehended and charged. A court date is being finalized. Anyway, no people watch your guard power guard. The man them find guns and guess what? Man they run there and so it to you. So keep back and wait for that. The police are reporting case of success after a targeted raid in three parishes result in three guns and over 30 rounds of ammo being seized and two people taken into custody. It's not better for the to put them on that sheet. You understand? The operation took place in St. Catherine, Clarendon and Westmoreland on Tuesday. Report from the Portmore Police that about 5 a.m. a raid was carried out of the house in Brayton, St. Catherine and one 9 minute Harris pistol with 10 cartridges was found. Barrington Davis. Yes, people. Barrington Davis, otherwise called Jacent. Now send the Jacent back to Jam, man. You should have sent this boy back to Jam. A 34 year old musician was subsequently arrested and charged with illegal pushing a firearm. Yes. The Clarendon police also recover one revolver containing six cartridges. The weapon was found wrapped in a white marina in a black bag on an open lot in Windsor Avenue in Maypen. No arrest was made in relation to that seizure. A 9 minute pistol with a magazine containing 16 cartridges and another magazine with 5 cartridges were found inside a house in George's Plain, Westmoreland by the Frome Police. One man was taken into custody pending further investigation. In the meantime, the police are making an appeal to citizens to report guns, gunmen and gangs by calling the nearest police station or crime stop at 311. The amount of time the people them say them call and tell them that the parliament sit down and go down the go jump and bam. All's are now on the door reach down there. All right, the parliament to the fuck up. You understand? Hold on, then now people watch you go on, power go on. This is a man and easy. A man accused of chopping another man in the head during an argument over Aki had his case settled through mediation when he appeared before the St. James Parish Court on Monday. Ricardo Ellis, who appeared before the presiding judge, Sasha Marie Smith Ashley, was charged with unlawful wounding. Despite having gone through restorative justice proceedings, no satisfactory outcome was achieved between the parties involved, resulting in the case being scheduled for trial, which was to commence on Wednesday. Justice Smith Ashley suggests on Monday that the parties attempt alternative methods of settling their dispute once again, and the case was briefly postponed to allow them to engage in a mediation session with a probation officer who was present at court. When the case was revisited, it was revealed in court that an agreement had been reached between the two parties with Ellis a Agreed to compensate the complainant amount of 150,000. Yes, people, 150,000. Ellis handed over 10,000 complainants on Monday, leaving a balance of 140,000. That must be settled by December 20. As a result of the mediation agreement, the prosecution offered no evidence against Ellis. The judge then asked complainant to sign an acknowledged receipt of the money. Sir, you are to get 140,000 by December 20, not a day later. If December 21st come and you don't get the rest of it, you come back to the court office downstairs and speak with the clerk to find out what's the next step. The judge told the complainant. Now me know now I wonder what really happened. Keep my camera tell her now. According to a report reached on news team that on January 6th at about 6 p.m. in Providence, I, the complainant, a Rastafarian, was picking Aki from a tree that Ellis had cut down. An argument developed and Ellis reportedly used a machete to chop the complainant in the head. So $150,000 for a chop in the head. More people are going to look for get chopping on them head. But pray, so they're not dead. Anyway, now people, speaking of dead. Me God, right in on the favorite parish, right in a St. James, Rumpton to be exact. Guess what, Guan Pan, what Guan? The two taxi man then get shot, you understand? Two taxi man then get shot. I know the birds hurt them reaching yet. When the birds hurt them reaching, I go and come back and I go and give you know, them correct name. But the paper them say my view. Then call one presser and then call the other one butter. But nobody worry yourself, people. Me know no one correct name, date of birth and everything. I have that phone when I come back. Don't worry, keep back and relax and wait for it.